A Weirton facility announces it will cease operations in March. Yeah, the news that the facility would close. No surprise to the men and women who work for the Ball Corporation, but the date certainly is. News 9's Ryan Eldridge has been following the story all day. He joins us now live with what he's learned. Ryan. Well, look, we, we don't want to deceive anybody and make it seem as though this story is completely out of left field. After all, we knew that this was coming when the announcement was first made back in February of 2016. We just didn't know exactly when it would happen. And we learned that this morning when employees received a letter from the Ball Corporation saying that they would cease operations here in Weirton as of March 31st of 2017. For many of the employees who have worked here for years, that came as a surprise. And we got that confirmed with company officials officials several hours later. Now I did get a chance to speak with employees as they came out to leave for the night around three o'clock and although they're not really shocked they're still saddened that it's all coming to an end. It's kind of bittersweet. Everybody's kind of wanting to know when it was going to happen. We we're all in the dark for almost a year on when it would go down. So today gives us a timeline of how long we have left which is March 31st, 2017 will be our last day of ball. Now, at one point in time, this facility employed over 300 people. We're told employees have been finding work throughout the Ohio Valley as well as with Ball Corporation in other states and other parts around the country. Many employees say, unfortunately, they are still work, uh, looking for work tonight. We're sitting down with some local officials that tell us a little bit more about how those employees can find work and how they can help them here in this area. To see that story, tune in later tonight during News 9 at 6. For now, I'm live in Weirton. Ryan Eldridge, News 9, live at 5.